Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Ace is munching on his breakfast in the background. If you hear that, I am sorry. But it is Monday. I am up. I actually have to wake up Mason here pretty soon. Um, he is actually volunteering for a youth camp this week. Um, I'm so proud of him. It's, it's a good thing. Like He's using his summer break and giving back and um, the varsity coach asked for some volunteers and Mason right away was like, I'll volunteer. Um, so he's going to be helping the little kids learn some baseball this week. Um, I think he's gonna be awesome at it. Mason's very good with young children. Um, so that's what he's got going on every morning this week. And then he just ha he has a busy week. I think he has a double header today, um, a single game tomorrow, mixed in some basketball practices, some weight training. Um, it's it's gonna be crazy, just like this past weekend with the double tournament basketball and baseball tournament. Um, I wrote down the schedule. I know what time he needs to be at places where I need to drive him all week long. Um, so yeah, but it's Monday. Need to drink some coffee. I got some laundry to get to, and then I get to drive Mason all around town today. Let's have a good week, everyone. Just picked Mason up from camp. He's showered, now sitting down. As soon as he got in the truck, I'm starving. I'm like, I knew it. I knew that was coming. But, welcome home. How was it? Yeah? So what age group were you working with? Um, I'm a coach today. That was the first. <laughs> yeah, it was the first. Like the first time like being a coach. Uh huh. But I was like, I was working with the younger guys today. So like five, six, seven year olds. No, probably not too, not that young, but like pretty young, like six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine at the highest. Like there was only like two nine year olds. Okay. All right. And then on the other field, it was like ten through twelve. Okay. So like future high schoolers, pretty much. So, so you there. you weren't with the older kids; you were with the younger ones. Today, yeah, my my coach put me with the younger kids. So. Okay, very good. You are good with little kids, so I'm glad he did that. Carter was there too. Um, so you said that they did like drills first, and then they got to play a game. And then he told me a story. It was so cute. He said, we only had one kid cry. I was like, oh no, why did he cry? Did he get hit by a baseball? He's like, no mom, because he got out. I was like, oh. But then what Mason told him was so sweet. What'd you, what'd you and Carter tell him? Me and Carter were like, we were just like, you'll get another at bat, don't worry. Like, yeah, it's there's just always another at bat. Fun. Yes. And we were pretty much telling him that there's always gonna be another at bat throughout the game. So. Yeah. Um, and then what happened his next at bat? He got like a double. There you go. See you guys? There is always yeah. another at bat. Baseball is definitely a game of failure. I'm sure you've all heard that before. It is one of the hardest sports that you'll ever play. You can't be perfect when you play baseball. That is for sure. <laughs> but I'm just happy that Mason's volunteering his time, waking up early, not playing video games, hanging out with his friends. He's, you know, given back because I know the baseball community has given back or given to us so much um, with the, like our YouTube channel and all. And it's nice for Mason to give back to these little kids. Um, it's just kind of a cool thing, Mace. I'm proud of you. Is there a bug? That's yeah. outside, right? Mm -hmm. That is outside. All right, well, enjoy your lunch. So we got that. Did you explain that we have it for like the rest of the week? Yep, you got it all week long, so except for Friday. Have... I think they get Friday off. Yeah. Um, like I said, he's got a double header, so he's going to eat some lunch, drink lots more water, and rest, and get ready for his double header. There's Ellen. What, Mace? Oh, that's over his head, dude. No, my bad. Hung too much. Good eye. Ain't nothing you can do with that. Good eye. Hey, boy. Take. <laughs> Hey, nothing to do with that, dude. Sure enough, and the whole umpire caught it too, and he called him out. That's strike, Mason. Yeah. There it is. Poke. Cheating on him. 
Yeah, boy. No, 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 no. Stay there. Oh, he bobbled. He bobbled it. Safe. There you go, good play. Great play, great play. As soon as you put a batter in there. Go there, go! Get through, get through, get through. Yeah. boy. Safe. Out. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everyone. Whew, just got my workout done. But you guys, I don't know how Mason does it. His schedule is crazy. I'm tired. The dog's tired. So before my workout, because Mason is volunteering at that youth camp, he is up early. So that makes me get up early. So I can take the dog out for a walk before it's like 100 degrees and his paws burn on the asphalt. So we went for a walk this morning, took him for a mile walk, just did my 30 minute at home workout. Um, like I said, Mason's at camp right now for about three and a half hours and then he'll come home for about two to three hours and I'll have to leave to take Ace to his puppy training classes. So Mason will be on his own for food. Um, hopefully he'll take a nap. Yesterday he ended up taking a nap. And then after that, he has basketball practice tonight. So I'll take him to that, pick him up, and then he'll have to hurry up, put on his baseball uniform because he has another baseball game tonight. Oh, am I keeping up? Are you guys keeping up? This is crazy. Um, who needs a vacation? <laughs> There's no time for a vacation. In fact, coaches say no vacations, definitely not in June. And I can see why, definitely no time for vacation. But the good news is I've already hit my exercise goal and pretty much my move goal, and it's only nine o'clock in the morning. So now I just have to get my stand goal, which I'm sure I'll get, hopefully anyways. Although I'm gonna sit for a couple hours watching a baseball, to baseball game tonight. But all right, time to shower, regroup, drink some water, Finish cleaning sheets, because Tuesdays are always my sheet towel days. I strip all the beds, grab all the towels, clean all that. It's not even halfway through the week and I'm exhausted, you guys. I seriously think I need a vacation. Speaking of vacations, what are you guys doing this year for summer? I know last year was a little crazy. Nobody really did anything because of COVID, but it seems like people are getting out and about this summer. So leave a comment down below what you guys are doing for your summer break. Is anybody headed to the beach? Because that sounds amazing right now. Are you tired? You guys, this is his new spot. He likes to hang out in the uh, pantry. Kind of like my other kid. Mason likes to hang out in the pantry and eat all the food as well. Although Ace, thankfully, does not go for the food. He just, I think it's dark in there and quiet and that's the spot he likes. But we just got back from doggy training and he did great. You guys, I just had him bust this out. Not because of my dog. I don't know, can the camera pick it up? Look at that, oh yeah it does. Not a good idea to wear a black shirt. Clearly another dog in class um, is a shutter. Ace, not so much. We don't ever have to worry about that. I am very thankful for that when I clean house and stuff. We don't ever have any um, dog hair because he doesn't shed. That's why we have him because of Jack's allergies. But anyways, he did good. I'm home just in time. Mason is probably upstairs getting ready to go to basketball practice. I'm hoping he comes down so he can um, maybe tell us how, well I already know because he told me on the way home, but let you guys know how um, training camp went this morning. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got going on. Oh, I was also going to talk about this. So I was talking about, to the trainer about Ace, how he's so itchy all the time and how the he's on Benadryl and she's like, ugh, 
Benadryl eventually is not good for their liver. So I've been always already thinking about that, but she recommends, she thinks that he has like seasonal allergies right now. So um, she suggested salmon oil in his food, which I've seen that. So leave a comment. Do you guys give your dog salmon oil? I heard that it's good for them, for their coats and stuff. Even if they are not dealing with allergies, um, to put it in their food once a day so that they have nice shiny coats and might help with his itching. So we're gonna give that a try. Just bought that, so once a day, you'll get that in his food. But um, yeah, leave comments down below if you guys have itchy dogs, allergy dogs, what are you guys doing? I've actually kind of started looking into the raw food diet, thinking that maybe it's something that we're feeding him. Um, but you all know that's so expensive and it's not easy to give your dog raw food all the time, like for like doggy daycares and when we're out and about, it's just easier to give kibble, so I don't know. Leave your suggestions down below. What do you guys do? He's done. <laughs> all right, I need to go check on Mason, make sure he's ready to go to basketball. He's the man of the hour. Are you alive? Are you surviving? Mm -hmm. Y'all, he got home so late last night from his doubleheader, so he is going off of no sleep. Please tell me you took a nap while I was at training class. Well, that's good. You ate lunch. You ready for basketball? No. And then a game? I need to do my hair. Well, that's okay. I don't just, really need to do it. He just got out of the shower. This kid it. is like taking three to four showers a day because of all of his practices, but that's okay. At least he doesn't stink. Um, but anyways, how was uh, training camp? What did you guys work on today with the little ones? Uh, just a lot of the same thing, but in different variety of ways. Okay. I thought you told me that you were hitting too. Uh oh. Oops again. Okay. We did uh we did more hitting today. More hitting today? Okay. Teach them, like the load, the spark and the squish the bug. Squish the bug. Oh that's so, so fun. Alright, I gotta get this kid off to basketball. You seem tired. I'm you tired. gonna survive? Sometimes naps are no good. Did you take a long one? I have no clue. I was just in and out. All right, you're gonna get through it, I promise. Yeah. You got this, kiddo. You got this. He's home from basketball practice. Now he needs to change for his baseball game. I feel like a cab driver, like, or a bus driver. I'm ready. You're crazy. Right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Good luck tonight. Have fun. Do your best. See you at your game. It's Wednesday, Whew. halfway through the week, you guys. It's been a long week. But let me explain what happened last night. So you guys know Mason had a baseball game. You saw a couple clips. Um, we were two innings late. It wasn't our fault. We were on time, but they decided to move up Mason's game and we missed two innings. And of course, Mason was pitching. So we missed two innings of Mason pitching. We got to see him pitch the third inning and then he got pulled, let another kid pitch um, because Mason also pitched over the weekend so they didn't want him pitching too much, you know, arm care, blah, 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 blah. But um, yeah, kind of sad that we missed it and he couldn't text us to say, you know, the game was starting early because he was warming up to get ready for the game to pitch. But anyways, he ended up doing really good last night. I think he only let up one hit and then, um, his first at bat, he ended up walking. Second at bat, he was a little impatient. Um, should have waited on it. And um, I think he just did a little dribbler up. I think either first base or, no, was it the pitcher? I don't know, you guys saw the clip right before this one. But anyways, it is Wednesday. Um, I'm about ready to go pick up Mason. As you guys know, he's volunteering at that baseball camp. Um, so it's about time for me to go pick him up. And then he's got, weight training he'll be home for a little bit to eat lunch weight training and then he has another baseball game tonight so hopefully we won't be late to this one but i'm about ready to cut up a pineapple for him um monday he ate a whole bunch of watermelon tuesday he ate a whole bunch of strawberries and today he'll come home i think it's the heat at camp he's just fruit sounds good for him when he comes home so probably do that and some lunch 
and then rest and go to weight training and then another game tonight but you guys Yesterday I was like, Mason, I'm exhausted, and that's why we actually ended up not um, vlogging after Mason's game last night. We came home, we were starving, I cooked dinner right away, and we all went to bed super early, <laughs> including Mason, because it's just been a crazy week. I'm like, Mason, I'm exhausted. He's like, Mom, me too. And then he's like, I'm like, I haven't even done any of the work that you're doing. I'm just here to support you and drive you around. In fact, he said that I'm his personal Uber last night, which is completely true. Um, and I sit down and watch some of these games and get to watch him play, but I'm not putting in all the work and volunteering for the three and a half hours that he's done every day at the camp. It's been crazy and I'm proud of him because it's been a tough week, but we're halfway through. We're getting to the weekend, just a few more days. He's got today for camp and then tomorrow and then that's it for camp. And I also told him, thankfully, that camp is this week and not next week because it's about 100, 101 this week. Next week, you guys, 116. So that would have been miserable to be doing a camp in the middle of the day. But anyways, all right, let me get to this pineapple so it's ready for Mason when he gets home and go pick him up. Ace, you doing all right? You tired? You staying cool? Just He just had some blueberries, speaking of fruit. He loves blueberries. All right, anyways, happy Wednesday. Told you, he's eating his fruit. <laughs> Is it good? How was camp today? Good. I think he's checking on his fantasy uh, baseball team right now, drinking an iced tea, trying to cool off. Lunch, and then I think Mason's going to rest, nap, drink more water like he has the last couple of days. And I think I'm gonna go to Walmart. So you gonna watch the dog for me? Yeah. Not that he's hard to watch, you guys. He's in his spot, his favorite spot. There you go, Ty. Go ahead and run. Go, Mason. Go. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Oh. There you go. There you go. Get there, get there, get there. Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm dying. Ace had fun with his toys this morning, and now he's tuckered out. It's Thursday, though. Mason is off to his last day volunteering for the youth baseball camp. Um, so he's out the door already. I'm up ready to go because you guys, it is time. This is the last time that you'll see him. This floofy, he, it is a haircut day. So that's his before you guys. Ace, did you have fun with your toys this morning? You tuckered out. Are you tuckered out? You gotta go get your hair done. It's time for a haircut so we can see your eyes again. They're in there somewhere you guys, I promise. Get his summer dew. Um, and I'm hoping to time it out just right. So while he's at the groomers, I'm gonna go try to get my toes done and then hopefully get that done and then it'll be time to pick up Mason and then I think it'll be time to pick up Ace from the dog groomer. So hopefully I time everything right. Almost to the weekend, you guys. I'm excited for the weekend. It's been a busy week like we've been saying, but all right, Ace, you ready to go bye bye Ace? We need to get a picture. We need to get a picture before and after. Yeah, for the Instagram. Good boy, yes, you gonna be a good boy for the groomer? Okay. All right, everybody's home. Mason's home from camp. Ace is home from the groomers. Um, Mason's upstairs showering. And then he's got basketball practice tonight and then he goes straight into another baseball game. You guys keeping track, what is this? I think this is his fifth baseball game for this week. Fifth and final. Thankfully, the kid has tomorrow off. He has Friday off. No sports tomorrow. Much needed break. No camp. But I know you guys are dying. The dog's just, he just took the biggest drink, so his, his beard's gonna be a little wet. But Ace, you guys ready? <gasps> You're so handsome. Can you sit? Sit, Ace. Hey, sit. Good boy. All right, let's see if I can get the camera to focus on you. Look at how handsome you are. You guys see his eyes now? Look at him, he's so floofy when they use the blow dryer on him. <laughs> so I went a little bit shorter than his last haircut. Um, so definitely his summer do. I'm also thinking ahead, like if he wants to get into the pool this summer, do um, water activities, 
it's better to have them short. And plus you guys, next week is his surgery, his snip snip, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think less hair will be better for all of that. But now I know he's gonna take the best nap because it's exhausting to get pampered all day, huh, buddy? Were you a good boy? Let's see, there we go. Look, he's cut water on him. He's so handsome. I think so. All right, good night, Ace. Have a good nap. Mace, how was basketball practice? Good. Got more in you? You got a baseball game? Yeah. He's got 30 minutes. Change, get to his game. I don't know how you have the energy. Uh, well, I don't have anything tomorrow, so that's good. I know, I already talked about that. I'll much get my day back. Much deserved break. Did you go with Dad to get Mason from basketball? It's possible because I'm having fun. It's possible because you're, well, that's why you have energy, because you're having fun. And yeah. I'm glad you're having fun. It would not be possible if I was not having fun, so. So I just answered a comment. Do you love baseball more or no. basketball? Just no. He loves both. Somebody commented, why did he miss um, baseball games over the weekend when he had the double baseball and basketball tournament? And I responded back. I was like, he loves both sports. It's definitely a balancing act. When you play two sports, you have to give, you got to take, you got to just do what you got to do. Right, Mace? Sacrifices will be made. Yes, definitely. All right, well, go change. Do you need more food or... You so good from lunch. I actually, he was just, you guys, after I picked them up from um, camp, we went to Chili's and had lunch. I said he deserved it. Literally, the last four days, he had to wake up early. Not one complaint out of this kid. He popped out of bed, did his job, volunteered. So I, tr I treated him to um, some lunch, although he's like, I should have brought money, I could have paid. I was like, Mason, no, this is my treat to you. But I think he's getting older. He's realizing money and all the things, you know? All right. <laughs> um, next clip should be baseball. Friday everyone. I know it looks like it's probably in the morning time because I look like this, but no, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. In fact, he's home from work and I still look like this. Y'all, I cleaned all day today because you saw how busy Mason's schedule was, so I got behind on chores. Mason got behind on chores, bless his heart. He slept in, played video games this morning, and then this afternoon got all of his chores done. He's now getting ready. I think he's gonna meet up with his friends to do a little filming for Backyard Bros. That's another thing, he's upset because he has no time for his channel, which, Jack? <laughs> I understand, I understand. Definitely understand that. Um, but I think we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. This one's a long one with five games. It was just gonna be a long one, so we're just gonna end it right now. Not gonna do much besides watch the Sixers. They come on first and then the Suns are on after them. It's gonna be an easy night on the couch for us. But you guys, thanks for sticking with us. It was a crazy week. Um, don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.